of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. So then you have the Odan on the seventh day, is a Gilim at the chest of Ayelakechem. Over here, Sukkot, on the other hand, is Mamaki from Mamaila. So it comes Mamaila Lamato, and then it has to be Lochem. We have to internalize that level of Mamaila Lamato. And he says, the Slabish Ba'elam, that this Ba'em is Hashem La'elam, Haluluka, that's what we say in Halal, right? Halal is Hashem Kogayim, the shortest parak of Tilim. Shabchul Kolo Umim. Which means our avoid is to bring the MS Hashem not only forever but into the world. into the world. Even though the level of loving Hashem is to become one with Hashem, that we said many times, that what's Ava mean? Love. Ava is Aleph A base Hey is thirteen. Echad is thirteen. Nigmatya thirteen. Aleph has Dalit. So what is the real level of Ava? You become one with the thing that you love, with the person you love, with the object, whatever. That's what real love means. You become one with them. So he says, even though Ava is to cling to Hashem, becoming one with Hashem, he says, Ainarak Emeshullah Adam. It's only the truth of the person. Because the person becoming one with Hashem can only become one with Hashem based on his level of Ava, which is limited. It's not emes. Emes is ultimate, eternal. But still not the emes Hashem. Why? Because at Hashem, anu shu echad ve'inayit. Ve'in mi sha'ev klal. V'lats machshav etvisa be'bat mekaviyochon. Kiyem kashen tvisa. When a person has Ava, so I, like a doubt that ever says in Tanya, a filu tzadi gomu, oiv Hashem ba'ava betanugim, a highest level of tzadi, who loves Hashem with the highest level of Ava, yeah, is yesh mi sha'ev. There's somebody loving. So yes, I am becoming one with Hashem, but there's still a me that's becoming one with Hashem. That's not emes. Emes Hashem Le'elam, Hashem's Emes, is Eneid Mulvadi. There's no you that loves. Total submission. Good. Total submission. I agree with you. Once. That's it. Don't. <laughs> emes Hashem, it's, it's the Emes Hashem. This is the Emes that from Hashem's perspective, then Eneid Mulvadi. That means, like you said, there's no Misha'ev, that's Mashavit Vizmi. No. And that's only through Tehidah. Therefore, we say in Ash, Hashem is close to all who call him. Those that call him with Emes. Hello. What is Emes? That's what it says. That's what it says. That's what it says. What would we say in the Pasik? My voice, the shame, my tongue, will answer Imra Sacha your sayings. That means you're saying first, and I'm repeating it, I'm answering it. means I answer what you say. Let me you say it first, and then I'm not saying anything of my own, I'm just answering. He's not saying anything of his own. Okay? So he says, this is the gili of Shemini Atzeris. Shemini Atzeris is the gili Milmaila, but it has to come down in a level of Lochem. Atzeris Tia Lochem has to come down to you, that we internalize it. But what has to be internalized? The Emes Hashem. Through Teda, you reveal this Gilui internalization because that's Emes. Because we're not saying anything of our own. We're just repeating what Hashem says. The Gemara learns out from this passage. The Gemara says, Kol HaKeda V'Sheina HaKadosh Baruch HaKeda V'Sheina Kenegde. Whoever learns, Hashem is learning opposite you. You know. But here it's even more than that. It's even more that Hashem is saying it first, and you're repeating what He says. So when you 
And therefore, one second, therefore it's so important, like we learned many times, that you have to make the Bircha Satayra before learning, because it leads to realization that it's nice in Hatayra, it's God's Tayra. That we're not learning something that I'm understanding. We're learning Hashem's Tayra, which basically by definition means, in essence, I can't understand it. Because it's Hashem wisdom, I've got a finite mind, understand infinite wisdom. But the greatness of Teda, but Makim Shatamesek, the Losesh Shokarish Baruchu, in the place where you find Hashem's greatness, there you find his humility, that Hashem lowered his Teda in a way that we understand it truthfully on our level, even though we don't begin to understand it. In other words, like we said many times, very simply, a kid starts learning Chumash. So they learn, Bereish is Baralikim, in the beginning, or in Yiddish, whatever language they learn. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Yeah, the kid understands the Pasuk. They get a hundred on the test. They understand the Pasuk. And halachically, they understand it. Nevertheless, the greatest of minds didn't begin to understand that Pasuk. But it's a different level of understanding and not understanding. So Hashem's infinite chesed is that he allows us to take a posse, a bracious barley kim, as a mice bracious, which is, you know, impossible to understand. And yet, he says, bracious barley kim, you're able to understand it. In the beginning, Hashem created heaven and earth, and you get the midst of learning Torah. And yet, so what does Nisan Torah mean? When they learn bracious barley kim, okay, not little kids, they don't got this. Well, they have to have to learn. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth to connect to the essence of Hashem. We said many times that Abayim fought with Mesidus Nefesh, that when you teach kids how to read Hebrew, they don't do it like this anymore, except in the Yiddish places. <laughs> when you teach a kid how to read right. Hebrew, one of the most important, that the people have Mesidus Nefesh to teach for all generations, he teach comets, aleph, ah, uh, comets, bays, ba, comets, gimel, ga. So they don't do that anymore, okay? Because they don't, because it's easier to learn the other way. But the Rebbe said, the Rebbe said, when a kid learns comets, aleph, ah, uh, that connects him to the anech, anech, Hashem, alakech, comets, aleph, ah, uh, of anech, Hashem, alakech. Because then you're teaching with the Gdusha. You're teaching them with the Gedusha of Taira, as Hashem's Taira. Because the Nukudas, by the way, the ten Nukudas correspond with the ten Sviras. Kamit is Bina, uh, Patach is Chachma, Segel is Teferes, it's Mamish. But Chachma, Peseach Sharem, Peseach Patach. But Chachma, Peseach Sharem. Comet is comet is the level of bina bina. So it's, the whole thing in the kudus is all the ten svitas. So when you teach a kid the kedusha satayda, you're not teaching him stam how to read. You, you're teaching him the kedusha of tayda. You remember the nation of tayda. So then at this you realize that Hashem's chesed that it takes a finite mind to understand the infinite, and at the same time not beginning to understand anything. What? It says in, in Kabbalah. It says, "Why do Neymar Miss Kareem Vein and Nenim?" Says some Chassidic brings us down there from Sechem Shish Mitzat Fila. He brings down. I remember it's from Kabbalah, I think, or whatever. Why do you even call Neymar Kareem? Why you eating daven? When I say don't get answered, they don't know how to use the names. You look in now. Rebbe said it's also like that, not the way we do. Now Rebbe said it. You have by Moshe by Atochen Lodem Das when he said Baruch Ata Hashem. Yud Kevavke is over the Patach. Yud Patach Hey Patach Vav Patach. Yeah. Then other brachos that would be, the various nukudis. For the different brachas of Shemoneser, yeah? 
So it says, if a person is asking how to chen l'adam das, so it says in Kabbalah, how you have to have Kabbalah of uh, a patach. When you say yud kevavka, you have to have patach, because patach is, is chokmah, this is whatever it is. So then he brings down an opinion, he says, of a great, uh, the holy guys, to say, anim is palom zad, the dav zahatinik. I daven like a baby. He says, this is a guy. A baby daven, you know, baruch atah Hashem, Hashem means God. Patach kometz, chokmah bin, who cares? He says, I daven like a baby. That's why in, in regular Sidurim, we don't have that in our Sidurim. The Rebbe didn't put in the, the Yudke Vavke or the Patach or Kometz or Tzayr or Segel, whatever. Because a person, we're not on that level. But there is an idea, concept of being, because if you want to know how to bring down the Hamshacha, ideally you have to know how to channel it. Right? If you want Chayin and Ladam Das, you need to have Chachma. If you want another thing, you need Bina. You want it. So if you know how to channel it, so then the Bracha comes down easier. Like this, you can get lost in the way. It's like, you know, those coin, Oliver Shalom, those coin machines, you put the coin, and then they have very different compartments. So the pennies go into this one, and the, the dimes and nickels into this one. The old guys remember this. The young guys don't remember nothing. But, so it's the same thing. You have to channel it into the right compartment. Master Kira. Have a good So he says. Okay, Kachas Paulo David Amel Obad Kolos Yisrael. So David Amel Davin for all Yidden. Hamshurosh and Benaf that are rooted in the Sham of David Amel Ech. Tan the Sheni Minasach. What does it mean? What is Teda? Teda are the, the words of Hashem. Whatever it is. It already, Imra Secha means what you already spoke. What is it? My tongue is answering, repeating in other words, Imra Secha, what you already said. We say, The bracha is Baruch to Hashem, Even though Hashem gave us the Teda three and a half thousand, something over three thousand years ago, we don't say Baruch to Hashem, Nosan HaTeda. Because the Kabbalah Satayda is every day. Nosan HaTeda means he's giving it presently. It means it's not only something that happened three thousand years ago, it's happening now. Um, like it says, Hashem said, I will put my words in your mouth. The Yid said, David Amel is davening for all Jews. We're telling Hashem, listen, God, you're putting the words in my mouth. I'm just repeating what you say. His gal is Dvar Hashem, which means the revelation of Hashem. Repeating the words in my mouth. So in other words, what the Altarab is saying over here is when a Yid davens, I mean, sorry, when a Yid learns Torah, and they say the words of Torah, Hashem is revealing Himself in me through the words of Torah, which are Hashem's words that He's giving me now. So Hashem, when I learn Torah, right, Hashem is speaking to me, He's giving it to me now. Now you say that Torah doesn't mean daily, it means every second. Hashem is giving me the words, and I'm repeating those words. So right, right now I'm having the gilu of Matan mm-hmm. I'm not doing anything. Okay? And that's, uh, I'm only saying, we're answering what, what Hashem is saying. Um, okay. Skip uh, until five lines in the end of the paragraph. Me'ech and ask a lekachsed. Now the pasuk continues. Where does a Jew merit? Can you imagine a Jew speaks. He's saying over Hashem's words that Hashem is putting in me now. Va'asim dvarim b'fiv means right now I'm putting my words in your mouth, and therefore when a Jew learns, he's just repeating those words that Hashem said. And what does what the Pasuk continue? Kimo kol mitzvah tzedek. Because all your mitzvahs are righteous. Meaning, 
כל המצווה זה אינם שוח זה בחינה צדק. This is all the level of צדק לפון of יהלך, like he said before. ובפרט יש הידי מצווה סוכה ולולב כנל, especially through לולב and סוכה. Because what is סוכה? סוכה is the מקיף level, and then we bring it down in a פנימיוס. With the lulu of taking the four different types of people, putting them together, shaking it in all directions, right? Which is basically all six directions, north, west, south, east, up and down. So then we're taking the makif level and we're internalizing it through lulu. By the way, we have the same thing every day with talus and tefillin. Why do we put on talus first and then tefillin? Okay, if you think about it, tefillin, it's more important than talus. Why do we put on talus first? So Allah says, there's a rule, tada v'shena, tada, tada v'kaitim. A mitzvah that's more common, less common, you do the more common first. That's the Allah. So therefore, talus we wear seven days a week. Tefillin we wear six days a week. So now you're doing both mitzvahs. What do you do first? You put on the more common, I mean talus, because you do it more often than tzitzis. I mean than tefillin. <clears throat> that's the simple meaning. According to Kabbalah, the meaning is, because Tzatal is, is the level of Makif. It surrounds your body. Right? Tefillin is binding your mind and heart to Hashem. That's already Pneumius. Binding your mind and heart to Hashem. So first you need to have the Makif level, like we said the other day. First you have at night the Mitzvah Sukkah. You go into the Makif. Then you can take the Makif and bring it down in the Pneumius through Lulav. That's why Lulav ideally should be blessed in the Sukkah, especially according to Kabbalah. Why? Because Lulav is internalizing the Makif level of Sukkah. So you have it really on a daily basis. First you put on Talus, the Makif level, and then you internalize the Makif level through Tefillin. Even though really it's completely two separate mitzvahs. Yeah. Covers you completely. But what about if it's you're saying cover is one size for all? So you just have to, is the makif level means makif means that there is no beginning and end. There is no higher and lower, like a circle. The circle there's no top or bottom. Chup is also makif. We learned. Okay. Um, That's why it's an interesting thing. It says in Aloha, the best time, what's the best time to say a bracha on Lulav and Esrik? No, Haka China. It's before Halal. Because then you're doing officially the Nanuim of Halal, the shaking of Halal. It says in Aloha like this. Now that brings it down in Siddharoth. <coughs> the best time to bench Lulav and Esrik is before Halal. Because the, then you're doing all the shakes. You go, the best place to bench Lula and Esrik is in the sukkah. So Allah says, we don't want the shul before halal. Or the, everybody's going to go out to the sukkah. You know what's going to happen. If there's food there, they ain't coming back. So forget it. Okay? So ideally, you should bench Lula before halal in the sukkah. Okay? But because of that, so we bench Lula before davening in the sukkah, and then we do halal later. Therefore, it's possible that technically, if a guy's late, yeah, and we should, he should bench Lula before halal. Whatever, just love that, not necessarily. But anyway, so that, that's the story. Umi sham nimshir, and then the passage continues. The yasim ladad of pa'amav. That'll put his shoes on the way, meaning he'll hit the ground, so to speak. She is gala safe meiser, safe meiser, the end of all action, which is elam hazer. Udvar avaya bechemes vemes avaya leelam, and that's what it says. Avaya mir chayim. Hashem holds a special, which is hamira umaitzer beficha. What Hashem hamir chayim. Rashi says in Chumash we never found anything like you know any similar place. But Amir means Hashem Amar Tahayim, Hashem Amir Chayim. We make Hashem special; He makes us special. 
But the Gemara uses the words, the, the Pasi uses the words Amira. Because the Amira, the speech, the Gwilin, what is speech? You call somebody, you speak, you call somebody to come to you. Amira is as Amshacha. It's a revelation, like by Yedabar Hashem. It's a revelation of Allah course coming into the world. And he says, that's Bayeh Mashmini Atzeres Tiyalochem. Ta'achi Yemei Asukis. Shanim Shalom Avad Abba V'taynu Gamanal. That this level of Sukis is the Gilu Yimamayla Lamata, not like Pesach. It's Gilu Yimamata Lamayla. Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. And then Havayi becomes Elokecho. Atzeres Hashem Elokecho. Here it's the opposite. There's the Gilu Yimamayla of Sukis. Bazai b'yei mashmini, which is yoyse gavei ve'oyeno, which is even higher, because eight is higher than seven. Seven represents nature. Remember, that seven is creation, seven days in a week, every seven middays. B'yei mashmini, the eighth day, is even a higher gilui than, than sukkis. Sukkis is only shivas yamim. This is eight. Shiyam shech lochem, meaning avem es avayla elum, we bring it down into us. Like you said, the level of neshikin, kissing. What does kissing mean? Two things become one. Chabad be chabad be achtus gomer. Our chabad with Hashem's chabad, our midas with Hashem's midas, it mamish becomes one. So he says, that's the level of shmini atzeres, that this gilui, of Sukkis, which is a level of Makifim, Anani Akrovid, all the Makifim level, now what happens on B'yay Mashmini, it's internalized that level of Gilui into ourselves, in a previous. And like we said, that's why uh, it's the level of Simchus Torah, which is only, it's interesting, Biblical, biblically, there is no Yom Tov called Simchus Torah. There's no mention of Simchas Teira. There's no mention. Okay, it's, I mean, even in Eretz Yisrael, where Shmini Atzer and Simchas Teira is the same day. Yeah, they have a very busy day. They have Hakafis and Yisker, the, <laughs> the whole completely uh, complicated system there. But when they have that level of Shmini, there's no mention at all about Simchas Teira. Hakafis is Minig Yisrael. The Gemara doesn't even talk about it. The Gemara doesn't even talk about that Kafis and Simchas Teda. Shmini Atzer and Simchas Teda. It's Minig Atik, like the Rebbe says in the Siddur. It's an old, old Minig for who knows how many, you know, many years that we have the concept of Simchas Teda. But Chlau, it's another interesting is later, but there is no mention in Torah of Matan Torah, when it is. Shavuos is a Yom Div, the Torah says, count 40 days, Minah, Machas, and Shabbos. Yeah? And the 50th day is Yom Div. Don't say Matan Torah. The Torah doesn't even say which day was Matan Torah. The Torah just says, Bachedesh Ashlishi, in the third month, it was Sivan. In fact, there's a Machlekes in the Gemara, between Rabbi Yaisi and Rechachamim. Rechachamim, the whole Torah was given on the sixth of Sivan, and Rabbi Yaisi, the Gemara says, Torah was given on the seventh. There is no mention in Torah when Matam Torah is. Yitzhak Mitzrayim, it says. Sukkis, it says. Rosh Hashanah, it says. Yom Kippur, it says. The only Yom Tov that doesn't say what day of the month it is, is Shavuos. Why is it called Shavuos? What? Why is it called Shavuos? It's Shavuos because it's after weeks, seven weeks. But it says Hashem came down. Doesn't say what day. It's a B'yem HaShlishi. Contra B'yesi, make sure B'yem had it another day. But it doesn't say, why doesn't it say? Because every day is Mark and Taylor. Make it more confused. 
but we're confused anyway. You know, you ever see those uh, confused with a big question mark? What they're supposed to say afterwards is join Chabad or confuse you more. Ah. Oh, yeah.